You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, presented by the only one media group. This is the people's choice for quality interviews, celebrities, and special guests. Hosted by Demetrius Dinny Reynolds. Call in to join the mix at 701-801-9813. For the complete archive of episodes, visit onlyonemediagroup.com and be sure to like us on Facebook at Vigilantes Radio. We welcome all. Enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds. Enjoy the show. Hello, hello, hello. Top of the morning. Welcome to another incredible episode of Vigilantes Ready Go Live right here on iHeart Radio. And I am your host, Dini. We have another special guest for you guys who so you definitely want to stick around for that. And as a matter of fact, text your buddies, family members, or even share it on social media right now and let them know that we are about to dive deep into another interview. Before I bring my guest on, I do want to say that sometimes you have to do a reality check. The world is the way it is. Today is the way it is. And your situation is the way it is. So what are you going to do about it? You know, are you going to wish you could go back to the past? Then you'll just end up more frustrated by the reality that time only moves in one direction, which is forward. Are you going to wait for someone or something to solve your problems for you? And then you'll just end up further behind at the end of the day. Are you going to put all that energy into anger and resentment because you've been treated so unfairly? Then, you know, the negative things you focused upon will grow even stronger, holding you back more firmly than ever before. Or, or get this, perhaps you'll decide to take positive, effective control. Perhaps you'll accept responsibility for the way that things are and begin to move forward. Perhaps you'll realize that it doesn't matter who is at fault or who you got here or how you got here, but what's important is what you're going to do about it. Perhaps you'll use the moments in this day not to resent or regret or relive the past, but to build, to create, to improve the future. Here you are in this world, this world that is undeniably the way it is you can do something uh well rather you can do nothing to change what you've got but you can do everything to vastly improve what you get take that from me coach dini let's go ooh, wee, ooh, wee, ooh, 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 yeah. wow this is the voice of dominic tony here to invite you to see me perform live may 25th at the north hills dive bar and grill See Dominic Tony live May 25th at the North Hills Dye Barn Grill. Dominic Tony live May 25th at the North Hills Dye Barn Grill. Showtime starts at 8 p.m. For more information on how to book Dominic Tony to perform in your venue, go to www.dominictony.com. Don't miss out on a night to remember. Come make some memories with me. And remember, folks, you ain't heard nothing yet. All right, all right. Again, welcome to the show. You're listening to Vigilantes Radio Live right here on iHeart Radio, and I am your host, Dini. Uh, today, we have a very special guest whose energy and talent far surpass what you have expect from someone at his age. At just 12 years old, he's a force of nature in the music world, a role model for kids everywhere, and a phenomenal performer on the stage. So, please... Welcome the one and only Prince Mark Jacob. Yo, yo, what is up, bro? Welcome to the show. What's up, what's up? Hey, how's it going? Nothing, I'm good. All right, all right. So, PMJ, man, it's it's fantastic to have you here. You know, light up our studio today with your incredible spirit and inspiring music. Um, you've been a performer almost your whole life, and you're making big waves with your music. Could you share with us what got you started in music and what really drives your passion? Well, I've been loving music since I was two years old. I always used to 
stand up on tables and sing the songs that we, that were sung, that were sung in church. And um, the my passion for music has just grown over time. Okay, okay. Do you still sing in church? No. <laughs> oh, yeah? All right. So uh, this month I've been asking people, you know, what advice would they give their younger selves? But you're young. You're young. Um, I'm going to change up your question. What advice would you give your future self? The advice I give to my future self is to just keep going on and never give up because after a while you can achieve your dreams and you can do anything you put your mind to. For sure. Is there any particular lesson that you've learned uh, during your journey as an artist that really shaped who you are today? Um, well, from performances and stuff, as a performance, I see people like come up to me and they'll give me a little bit of advice. Best advice I've gotten so far is um, like look in the mirror before I uh, do a show because it'll help my practice get over time. It's helped me perform way better than I used to be. Sure. Your single Seven Days is all about having fun, staying positive. What inspired you to write this song? Um, it inspired me because I had so many pairs of Jordans just laying around my house, and I wore Jordans when I beat seven days a week, and every time I go to school with some different pair of Jordans, they'd be like, Mark, how many pairs of shoes do you have? So I made that song. How many pair of shoes do you have? I lost count. <laughs> oh, you lost count. <laughs> oh my, you must have a, a collection. What's your favorite pair? Favorite pair is probably my black and white Jordan OGs or um, the retro Lexus ones. Okay, okay. Is there a shoe that you want but you don't have yet? Um, every shoe that I usually want, like by the time it comes out, I'll get it. So. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's what's up. That is that is really what's up. Okay. So this song, Seven Days, really uh, reflects on your personal style and, and how you dress. So the most important question is, where did you get this style from? My parents and, uh, yeah, I got all my styles from my mom. So they have an uh, unlimited amount of Jordans, too? Uh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Wow, that should be like a Nike museum. <laughs> That's cool, man. So how do you hope uh, your music, especially being so positive and clean, influence other kids and even adults who listen to it? Yeah, my music is like really overall just like uh, positive, and I want to get my music out to more family so they can listen to it with their kids and just spread a positive message all around Absolutely. And then having your mom and dad also part of this movement, I think, is probably one of the most important looks about what you're doing, because it's a family thing. And, um, you know, this is America. And for some reason, family is not promoted as heavy as it should or like it used to be, you know. Um, so I think you guys are doing something that is really, really cool. You performed across the nation, including schools, private events. What is your favorite part about performing live? My favorite part about performing live is probably, like, after the performance or during the performance. Because after the performance, like, as soon as I'm walking off stage, I'll see everyone and be like, you did a good job and stuff like that. Or during the performance, if I'm, like, doing, like, I want to hear y'all say P, M, J, all the people there will just start doing it, and it'll make me really happy to start all right, doing that takes a, a, a large amount of confidence and, and being very positive about yourself. Were you always disconfident? Uh, yeah, I've always been disconfident. All right, where'd you get that from? I got it from my mom. Cool, cool deal. Man, so what you're doing is incredible, man. At 12 years old, I was playing with Batman and probably watching Saturday morning cartoons, but you're out doing it, performing, living your dream. Uh, if you could be doing anything else, what would you, what would you be doing? Uh, I'd 
I'd probably be playing my game or outside playing football. Cool. All right. Now, I know you mentioned you look at yourself in the mirror before you perform. Do you have any other um, things that you do before a show? Before a show, usually I'll pray, and I like to, um, before a show, I like to go on YouTube and maybe um, look at other people perform, like other big artists perform, to see what I can do to do better. Who has inspired you so far? So far, my dad inspired me because he used to rap. Your dad used to rap? Mm-hmm. Word. Have you and your dad collab yet? Uh, yeah, we did a, we did a, a couple of collabs, like on my phone, Seven Days, in the background, um, and in my phone, we are. Okay, that's dope, man. It's really a family affair, that. The mom with the confidence, dad with the skills. And then y'all wear Jordans. Man, that is dope. So your mom plays a big role in your music. Um, can you tell us more about how she supports your career? Everything that I've done so far in my life, she's been supporting me a lot. And I really appreciate it because she's helped me become the person that I am today. That is cool. Now, you know the thing that's going on with Drake and Kendrick Lamar, right? All right, so views happen in family, you know, dis- disagreements, uh, being told what to do. Would you ever drop a diss track to your mom or dad? Uh, no. Yeah, that's a crazy question, right? Yeah. But what would you think would happen if you did? Like, hey, hey, dad, listen to this, and it's a, a diss song. Uh, they'd be really mad at me, and I'd probably get my game taken away. He wouldn't dra- drop one back on you? Uh, my dad probably would. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That would be funny. That would be funny. So, with the packed schedule, how do you find time to relax and have fun outside of music in school? So, usually after school, um, if I'm not, I mean, if I'm free, I'll go home and play my game. Uh, I'll play. I I like to play Madden, Fortnite, and like Roblox. So I'll go home play, and then if I don't have free time and I have something to do, I go to the trainer. Her name is Celia. She was with the SOS there. Okay. What's your console of choice? Is it Xbox, PlayStation, Switch? Uh, I've had all three. So out of like experience, my personal favorite is uh, PlayStation. Okay, okay. I have to disagree with you, Xbox, Team Xbox here. Um, And like you, with Jordans, I have every console that has ever came out. I, like, collect them. From the Atari all the way to the PS5. That's right. Yeah, man. So I got you on that. You got me on Jordans. I have maybe two pair of Jordans. So you win on that one. But I got you in consoles. Thing is, um, for Jordan, I actually give out a pair of Jordans every show I do. What? Okay, when's your, when's your next show? Today, <laughs> really. Okay, and what what size are you giving out? I'm giving out a size seven. Oh, I can't do nothing with a size seven, but I'll still come support, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll still come support. I thought I was just coming for some sneakers, but. That's cool too, man. That is cool. So you got new singles coming up. Can you give us a sneak peek into uh, what those themes and messages and these songs might explore? Okay, um, I'll give you my song that I'm making. I see. Um, okay. I say I see. I thought you knew. One plus one equals two. Alfred on fleet, cause you know it's new. Jordan's on my feet. One red, one blue. BMJ, BMJ. It's true my name. Sitting court size the next ball game. Don't do drugs, I think it's late. Money don't come right after the fame. All right. So, so, man, what's, like, the most exciting thing that you've done in your music career so far? Most exciting thing is I like, I like being in the studio while I'm making my song because it's just an overall really fun experience to, like, do different lyrics. Is there a dream or goal that you haven't reached yet, but 
it's on the list? Probably the, the big, like, like really big to where like I'm a household name. Yeah, that would be cool, right? Yeah, like, you, you, could, you could say Drake and everyone knows who Drake is or 50 Cent or Eminem. Right. I want to be one of those type names where it's like, have you seen CMJ's new song or something like that? Yeah. All right, man. We're about to jump into some music. Seven Days by PMJ, Prince Mark Jacob. And we'll be right back. Stay tuned. <laughs> What's up, long time? I forgot to mention that. Oh, by the way, this is Dini, you know, Vigilantes Radio Live, uh, VP of Operations for Busy Bone from Bone Thugs and Harmony, blah, blah, blah. Anyhow, Only One Theory dropped a new single. It is called La Hefecita. It's on Spotify. As a matter of fact, it's on all major platforms. You should check it out right now. Oh, and by the way, there's also a visual on YouTube. It's hot. Check it out today. OnlyOneTheory.com Check that out too. Peace. Welcome back, guys. That was Seven Days by Prince Mark Jacob. When I'm getting ready in the morning, putting the J's on my feet, this is my theme song. And it should be yours, too. Check it out. All right, let's go ahead and invite PMJ back to the show. Hey, 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 you're back with us. Love the record, man. All right. Yo, what's up, yo, what's up? Yes, yes, we can. All right. 
All right. So, man, I forgot to tell you, we actually have a segment on our show called The Hot Seat. And that's when we invite our guests to perform for us, whether that's rapping, singing, freestyling, poetry, spoken word, telling a joke, telling a story, playing an instrument, or giving advice. Would you like to participate? Yeah, I would love to participate. So, what are you going to do for us today? I'll do another song for you. Okay, cool. Ready when you are. Watch me take off, aviator, got the leather jacket, so soft, you know I got the sauce, growing up to be a boss, I'm going for the win, I can't even spell lock, I wake up, be the mission, brush my teeth, and fuck, watch my face in my ears, diamonds dancing, and I'm full, that's the life that I live, every day of the week, when you see me, in the streets, I'm always on fleek, TMJ. Right, alright, what is that song called? It's called Runway. Runway, all right. I think it's a good song, man, just in case my kids forget which order to clean their faces. I just put on some PMJ, and there you go. <laughs> step by step. All right, PMJ, man, where can our listeners connect with you online? Um, listeners can connect with me on any social platform, on Spotify, Instagram, TikTok, all social platforms, Chris or Jacob, Mark is spelled the P, and Jacob is spelled the K. All right, all right, cool deal, man. And listeners, just in case you didn't get those links, no worries. I will have the links in the description of this episode and in in the show notes, just in case your fingers are busy right now. Maybe you're playing Thumb War or any other finger game like flicking footballs. Don't worry, I got you covered. Um, What an inspiring episode with the incredible Prince Mark Jacob. Thank you, PMJ, for sharing your passion, your music, and your infectious energy with us. To everyone listening, be sure to keep an eye on this young star as he continues to make waves in the music industry. Don't forget to subscribe to Vigilantes Radio, leave us a rating, and share this episode with your friends and family. If you enjoyed our chat with PMJ and want to support more amazing content, consider buying us a coffee over at buymeacoffee.com forward slash Vigilantes Radio. Thank you guys for tuning in. Remember, it's never too early to chase your dreams. Keep dancing to the beat of your own drum, just like PMJ. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for letting me be out here. Absolutely, man. Take care. Have a fantastic day. You too. Thank you. Thank you, my Vigilantes family, as always, for checking out my podcast over here at Vigilantes Radio Live. All episodes are available for free download, and you can grab it from either Spricker.com forward slash only one media group, Spotify, CastBox, iHeart Radio, iTunes, YouTube, the app Podcast Addict, or over at our website which again is only one media group.com and that goes for every single show that we've ever aired if you like to request some music or send something for me to play email it to v radio at only one media group.com that is v as in victor and here's my disclaimer we are genre free we do not judge and we absolutely do not base our opinions on hearsay but facts alone and actually scratch all of that because all of my opinions are always right that's the bottom line this is my show so deal with it (laughs) just kidding on behalf of myself denny i appreciate all you guys for tuning in either afterwards or live with us spread the word because sharing is caring we stepped up our game just for you guys and our guests to make sure that you have the best experience here on our show be sure to connect with me on facebook twitter instagram tumblr snapchat tiktok at all social media sites as well as spreaker youtube we always follow back okay well just remember to put yourself into everything that you do and never stop investing in yourself peace love grilled cheese and talk with you later you 
are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, the people's choice for quality interviews, art, music, and hot topics. Hosted by Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds of the duo No Longer the Hero. All episodes of this podcast are available for free download at www.onlyonemediagroup.com. This is a seventh sign regime, Rebirth Worldwide Syndicate exclusive. What's up, guys? It's Dini, and I want to welcome you on a journey of the heart and of the mind. These Fucking Feelings podcast is a beacon in the world of mental health advocacy, and it invites you to join a conversation that's changing lives. We are here to share, listen, and grow together. Led by the passionate Micah Bravery, alongside the insightful Rebecca and Crystal, This award-winning podcast dives deep into the human experience from navigating relationships to coping with loss. No topic is off limits. It's about real stories and real emotions. These fucking feelings, it's more than just a show. It's a community, a place where vulnerable isn't just accepted. It's celebrated. You can find it across major platforms, including YouTube and Facebook Watch. This podcast is a touchstone for anyone seeking understanding and support. These fucking feelings podcast where every emotion is valid and every story matters. Tune in and transform the way you see mental health.